Hello and welcome. My name is Dale McKenna. This is the first in a series of short videos created to help you navigate your way through GTS Plus. In this series, we'll be covering everything from health checks to saving and retrieving stored data, all the way up to advanced graphing functions. So let's get things started with our first quick video, health checks, tips and tricks. This is the first video in a series of quick training videos about Global Texturing Plus, or GTS Plus as it's known. In this particular episode, we're going to talk about how to navigate your way around a health check and show you some tips and tricks that are going to make it more functional for you. We're going to kind of show you how to artificially speed things up a little bit. Interested? All right, let's take a look. First, we've got to get logged in. When you first log in to GTS Plus, you're going to have to do that at your dealership on your dealership's network. You're going to be setting up a user profile that will be used for GTS Plus access from that point forward. Once that's done, you'll simply be able to go to the server login, click in with, and then enter in your username and password. From there, you'll simply be directed to the main screen where you can choose from a series of icons along the bottom or the connect to vehicle function that you'll see in the middle of the screen. We're going to connect to the vehicle and we didn't speed this up any. The GTS Plus software actually does pretty quickly connect to the vehicle, in this case a 2016 Tacoma. Now it doesn't get all of the information it needs, you're still going to have to come in and select some of the available options for this vehicle before you hit the little white arrow to continue down here at the bottom. That's going to take us to our main menu. From our main menu we can select different functions, but for this video we're going to stick with our health check. So with the health check, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this little stethoscope icon and we're going to click health check. That's going to start running the health check, which usually takes a really long time, and it still does. But here's an interesting little trick. If an ECU is recognized and properly configured on the network, the global texturing software will let you speak to it. You notice that some of the ECUs turned red. We selected the engine ECM and it took us right to a DTC list. Now there are no DTCs in there so let's go back because I want to show you something. You notice that it's actually still working with other ECUs right now. It hasn't completed the health check. You don't need to. Anytime the ECU's name turns red it becomes available to access instantly. Let's go back up this list a little bit and see if we can find something that's got DTCs in it. I think the main body ECU does because I want to show you another trick. This one's really cool. We're going to open the main body ECU up and there's going to be a couple of DTCs in there. We're going to click one so that it turns blue and then we're going to go up to our little icon above my head that says I right here. This is going to do something really cool. It's going to instantly log you into TIS. We don't have to log in again. You already did that with GTS Plus. Now what GTS Plus is going to do is something amazing. It's going to pre-populate all of the information you need about your vehicle into TIS, including a keyword search, including the DTC that you highlighted. From there, you simply need to hit the repair manual icon and it's going to show you the information regarding that DTC in the main body ECU. And the health check hasn't even finished yet. How about that? Join us next time for more tips and tricks on GTS Plus. Thank you.